Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're hopefully getting a quick one done here. Uh, we have two USB chargers, which are not working. I'm going to show you how to fix these fairly simply. Now, these this is not outputting any power through the USB, and um, we're going to open it up and we're going to take a look. So these are the cheapy ones meant for LED lights. Um, it was just it, I heard a pop and it stopped working. So let's crack this open. You want something that's thin like this to get into here And you want to just look at that. It's coming open already. So just put your put the spudger in and then just pry and It probably won't be that easier for you, but um, actually this one has a crack Which is right here. So that's probably why it's easy to open. This one doesn't have a crack so it's a little bit harder to open so you can just kind of find the way and look for the seam and then uh, put the spudger in well it's on this side put the spudger in and then you'll be able to open it up so I'm just squeezing it gently with my fingers or firmly get the spudger in there and then just pry it open so I'll put this aside for now because we're just gonna work on this one and I did have this open already and it looks like this capacitor actually failed and it pushed up because um, of the pressure inside and then it actually cracked the case so that's why the case was cracked and so easy to get open so I'm going to replace this capacitor uh, with a similar one which I have here so in focus and it should be the same height yep same height great so on these capacitors there are markings for what they are it's hard to see on this one, but it's a 1000 microfarad, 10 volt. So I do have the replacement here, which is actually a um, 1000 microfarad, 6.3 volts. However, the replacement one that I found, which is actually the correct rating, is, is higher. So this would be the 1000 microfarads, 16 volts, which is the next one I have, and it's too tall. So we can't use that one. or Maybe we could and just like put it on its side. Why don't we do that and see if that works? Because that might actually be better. I think it'll fit in there, no problem. So let's let's try that first, and then if that doesn't work, we'll put in the smaller one. I have a feeling this one's mislabeled here because this package, they're pretty much the same. So we'll we'll try laying it on its side first to see if that if that works. So soldering iron is on. It's getting warm right now. We have the, the board set up here. We're gonna remove this capacitor. One thing you wanna take note, you don't wanna to put too much heat into this because it can actually blow. Now it's already blown, so I think it has a little, little to no risk of actually blowing. So not too worried, but if you're removing other capacitors, uh, just take that in mind. There's multiple ways you can we can remove this. We can either use the solder sucker and remove it that way, or I could just put a little bit of tin on my soldering iron tip and then we can just remove it while remove, uh, just shaking the capacitor left and right. So, got the fume extractor on. So I'm just gonna position it like this. And these are the two legs underneath and I'm just gonna gently wiggle it out as I put heat on it. Being careful not to burn myself. And it looks like this is actually in there fairly good because this leg is bent over. So I'm going to add a little bit of heat and then just bend that leg up. And then just put a bit of heat on. And then pull this out of there. Looks like it's still hanging on for dear life. Just bend those legs up. And then just slowly wiggle it out. Looks like it's coming out now. Again, multiple ways to do this. We could have a better way of doing this. Oh, also, that could come right out for now. We don't need that there. And I'm putting a little bit too much heat into this. I can feel the heat on the board, so we want to make sure we get this out soon so we're not putting too much heat in. Yeah, not the cleanest method we've used here, but 
I think it's going to work either way. So I think it's stuck there. So what I'm going to try to do is put the spudger in and give it a little twist and it should pop right out. There it goes. Great. So then we want to make sure we're cleaning these holes before we add the next capacitor. But they look pretty clean now. So we'll just work with work with that. I mean, this is just to show, to turn on a light. Okay, capacitors marked on the negative by this strip here. So we're going to bend the legs up, pop them in here. And I don't think we can have that lay down like that. It's not going to work. So what I'll try to do is put in this capacitor, which is rated for a few volts under under what it should be. It's rated for 6.3 volts, but I have a feeling this capacitor that came out is actually um, rated for 6.3 volts and not 10 volts. They're cheap capacitors. It should work. Worst case scenario, it blows again. I'll make another video showing another way to fix this. But for now, let's just put this guy in and get this thing back up and working. I'll bend the legs. I'll pop them in there like that, making sure the negative is on the correct side. Put it down nice and snug. Turn this on its back. I'm actually going to clip these legs before I solder on. And then I'll just clip them after again. Okay, hopefully you guys can see here. I'll try to zoom in on the image. Make it a little bit easier for you guys. I don't really want to set up the microscope for this. This should be a fairly simple fix. Okay, that's that. She's in place. We're going to grab some flux. down just like that and then grab our soldering iron and our solder and just solder those legs on let's move that a little bit closer okay that actually should be it Looking good to me, I'll just trim that, and then we'll give her a test. Okay, I got it all back together, I just slid it back in. Uh, we're going to test this ring light that I have on my microscope. And here's the USB that plugs into it. So, I'll plug the USB in first. And then we'll plug it into the power bar. And then we'll turn on the light. There we go. Perfect. So, all that was failing on that USB charger was the capacitor so we replaced the capacitor and we have uh, a working USB charger again now they're not all going to be that easy um, these these are cheap ones the the more difficult ones like Samsung um, I'll get into another time if you want to see it just let me know in the comments and uh, thanks for watching today